So, let's talk about the Noid. Again. The Noid crushed pizzas, but couldn't crush Domino's pizzas back in the 80s and 90s. Yo Noid was an NES game in which you ate pizzas to save New York, and Yo Noid 2 was a 3D platformer made for the Waypoint New Jam City Game Jam that revolved around pepperoni snatching and existential dread. It was also one of the best 3D platformers to come out last year, and there were already a ton of great 3D platformers. I already did a video on Yo Noid 2, so why are we talking about it again? Well, about a week ago or so, Yo Noid 2 got a game of the... I'm sorry, game of a year edition. Pick a year. Any year. Doesn't matter. This year, last year, next year, who cares? And while I wasn't going to do a video originally because I didn't think there were that many changes, uh, no. Yeah, there's a lot of changes. So let's talk about Yonoid 2 Game of the Year Edition. If you haven't played Yonoid 2, I mean, what are you doing? Go download it. It's free. It's an hour long. It's hosted at noid.pizza. That's a real URL. Anyway, back to the video. The game plays a lot like a 3D platformer for the PlayStation. CRT filter, texture warping, and all. The first big change to Yonoid 2 is that there's now a remaster mode which lets you enjoy Noid goodness in 16x9, not just 4x3. And without most of the filters and with a shiny new font, the game actually looks weirdly beautiful. Not only that, but now you can see the opening FMV in full HD, and while the game supposedly starts in New York City, based on how Yonoid 1 ended, OMG stint in his Noid costume is very clearly somewhere in the UK. Anyway, Yonoid 2, there's a couple minor changes to the map design, but it's still the same game at heart. You run around, dabbing at everything, jumping at walls, and swinging from your yo-yo, looking for the exit in each level. Collecting pepperoni along the way- Oh. Oh, that's new. So one of the new changes in Game of a Year Edition is new completion rewards. Finding every Roni turns the level's pizza box and the corresponding spire box gold, and this even reflects on your save file in New Game Plus mode. And in New Game Plus mode lies the biggest change to the game and why I ended up having to make this video in the first place. Yonoid 2 now has five playable characters. On the New Game Plus menu, Nun Pizza, which is presumably with left beef, is your typical garden variety Noid. You start the game with this Noid, it's, it's the Noid, it's actually the Noid. Completing the game once unlocks Mr. Green, who is the antagonist of the original Yonoid, and he's kind of the Luigi to the Noid's Mario. He jumps higher, but he's a whole lot more slippery, and this leads to a lot of boundary breakage. Yeah, this is, uh, this is probably intentional. chicken. What are you doing over here, little buddy? Why are you not back home in the swing factory? Did, 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 did they add a chicken to every level? Yes. Yes, they did. And finding all three poison- yeah. Okay. Okay, um, a jingle. A Pizza Unknown's Battleground. Welcome to Pizza Unknown's Battlegrounds. By collecting every pepperoni in every level, you unlock Crust 40. I wonder what that could- oh. Oh, it's, uh... Oh, it's so bad shot. And Jesus Christ, Crust 40 is fast. Way too fast. There's a lot of cool glitch tech you can exploit with the character and loads of shortcuts, but precision platforming might as well be impossible. Crust 40 is greasier than a Little Caesar slice coated in garlic butter. These platforms took literally 15 minutes to climb. This isn't fun. It's fun in a weird way, but this, this isn't fun. So, in the New Game Plus menu, the die on each character is beating all one boss, the Roni is pretty obvious, the Noid is Victory Royale, wait wrong, that's finding all three chickens, and by finding all three, you unlock a Proto Man. Ah, oh, I wonder what this could be- Ah, uh, so this is the, the prototype Noid, I presume. He's really slow, he can double jump, every sound is a guy going, Noid, and his face barely exists. What's happening with the face? What's happening with the face? Cappy, as they've called him for some reason, I guess Capsule, not Capture, like Mario Odyssey. He's one of the most frustrating Noids to play the game with, and honestly, one of the most frustrating platforming challenges I've ever played in a game. Domino Dungeon is already such a frustrating level, and he just makes it even worse, because he's got no, like, momentum in the air. He just falls out of it like a puck. Just drop a puck. I don't know where I'm going with this. Honestly, the rest of this video, I've got to thank the Yonoid Discord. They really helped me actually figure out how to complete this level. In particular, Abby, who sent me a video of how to complete these jumps. 
Thank you so much. And yes, I had to actually go back and replay this segment because I completed, I completed this most of Cappy off camera because I it was like it was two hours at that point because he's so slow, and so many jumps are just garbage. Completing the game with every other character, though you don't necessarily need to complete every unlock requirement with every character, unlocks the vocal noid. This was the thing the final boss taunts the noid with at the very end of the game, and aside from a terrifyingly auto-tuned vocoded screech upon death, they're otherwise the same as the noid to my knowledge. And that's just, that's a great way to round out this game. Back to basics with a cosmetic noid after the three individual levels of hell you got here. All around, the new characters do add a whole lot of replayability to Yonoid 2. It's a better game with all these new secrets and unlockables, and while it well and away falls out of the realm of being a believable Noid licensed game from the 90s, it's still all around a highly enjoyable experience I would certainly not feel bad about spending money on. Again, a decently skilled 3D platformer player can clear the game in about an hour, and speedruns between 12 and 20 minutes are pretty common. So you have nothing to lose by playing this game and everything to gain. Yonoid 2's original build was put together over the course of 30 days, and over the last year, everything from a new graphical filter, new playable characters, and new secrets have been jammed in. One of the artists in particular in Yonoid 2 has apparently gone on to be hired at Microsoft for State of Decay 2, and that's just awesome. And with all the other YouTube poopers and Mario Paint composers from days gone by that got together to make this game happen, there's just so much talent and so much heart, far unlike anything I've seen in any other game. The closest in recent memory probably has to be a hat in time, but Yonoid 2 is just so dedicated to its cheesy late 90s aesthetic that it hurts, and it loops around and becomes a very warm welcome. A hot slice of deep dish on a cold Chicago winter day, a homemade slice a thousand miles from home, it's just such a welcome addition to any 3D platformer's library. It's it, it, it's, it's freaking good, okay? It's freaking good. Go download it, you won't regret it. Noid.pizza. My final verdict on Yonoid 2 Game of Year Edition is... You already know it. It's a great update to an amazing game. You know, I've been talking about pizza-themed meme games from the frickin'... What just happened to that sentence? My final verdict on Yonoid 2 Game of Year Edition is it's a fabulous update to an amazing game. And you wouldn't know I was talking about a pizza-themed meme game from the praise I have for it. It's a special kind of game that only comes around once every now and then. And it's fantastic I get to share things like this to people like you. Thank you.